World-renowned artist Neil Young doesn't want to be on the same streaming platform as UFC commentator and podcast King Joe Rogan. In an open letter that was later removed, Young demanded Spotify to choose between him and Rogan. The reason was that Young doesn't like Rogan's super popular podcast The Joe Rogan Experience and the drama surrounding it. With an estimated 11 million listeners per episode, JRE, which is hosted exclusively on Spotify, is the world's largest podcast and has tremendous influence. Spotify has a responsibility to mitigate the spread of misinformation on its platform, though the company presently has no misinformation policy. I want you to let Spotify know immediately today that I want all my music off their platform, they can have Rogan or Young. Not both. Spotify chose Rogan and is now in the process of taking down Young's music from their platform. We want all the world's music and audio content to be available to Spotify users. With that comes great responsibility in balancing both safety for listeners and freedom for creators. We have detailed content policies in place and we've removed over 20,000 podcast episodes related to COVID since the start of the pandemic. We regret Neil's decision to remove his music from Spotify, but hope to welcome him back soon. A few weeks ago, 270 doctors, researchers and scientists wrote an open letter to Spotify, expressing concern about medical information regarding the pandemic communicated on Rogan's podcast. The open letter focused mostly on the Joe Rogan guest Dr. Robert Malone, a virologist that was involved in mRNA vaccine technology, but that lately has been criticized for spreading vaccine misinformation. This is not only a scientific or medical concern, it is a sociological issue of devastating proportions and Spotify is responsible for allowing this activity to thrive on its platform. Are you surprised that Spotify chose Rogan over Young? Hit the subscribe button and share this video. We'll be uploading several times a week, sharing the latest MMA and fight news with you. Let us know what you think in the comments below.